kids, welcome back to Roto Talk. Kids, welcome back. It is Monday. So, um, just doing a boat overview. I decided, um, I think I did it with my other skiff not too long ago that I was just going to kind of do overviews of all my boats um, here and there when I have time. So, this is one of my favorite machines probably that I've ever built. Um, this is a Jersey skiff. It's the Rico Racing. And I'll put a link in the description. Uh, Rico Racing Jersey Skiff. It's fiberglass hull. I love skiffs. They are probably, in all honesty, one of my favorite, definitely in the top two hulls designs that I like are Jersey Skiffs. And they are real boats. Um, they are a real scale boat that happened off the coast of Jersey there. Back in the olden days, they were basically Jersey skiffs were kind of like a utility boat, I think. Or a fishing boat of some sort. And then back in the olden days, guys started putting engines in them to race, you know, poor man's boat. And it turned into a thing. Look it up on YouTube. Pretty neat. These guys are crazy because when they turn, they turn on their side. Like, literally, they go up their completely flat bottom boat. All right, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and the models turn just like the real ones. They turn pretty much on their sides. Look up Jersey Skiff RC boats. Same thing. I just realized I did not have any run footage of this boat. What was I thinking? I want to go back. Please! I want to live! So, I'm going to try today, maybe to go down and get some some run footage of this boat but the history the theme of this boat and as you guys may have noticed i never paint boats or do decals in a traditional sense i don't do miss budweiser's miss geico's miss under you know whatever i just think that's been done to death and i mean it's cool if that's your thing um, but i don't want a replica of the miss budweiser honestly i just want a hydroplane in that shape with something stupid on it i don't know so uh, so this theme on this boat is Captain Kid. Now you may have noticed I started putting movie clips in all of my videos just for fun. You know, it, it takes the monotony out of it. Hopefully. And there's a black and white pirate movie that I put lots of clips in. That's Captain Kid, 1945. And it's been one of my favorite movies since I was about 13, 12 or 13 years old. I have it memorized. And um, Charles Lofton, all those guys. So I did this skiff in the theme of Captain Kidd. I named it the Adventure Galley. I put a Captain Kidd driver. I'll show you all that. Really, really cool. So let's go over this thing. Again, Rico Racing Skiff, Jersey Skiff. So I did all the decals, obviously. And when you're doing a fiberglass boat, um, you know, it's not quite as intricate as doing a wood boat because you're not building it per se. It's very, very difficult. I think I've only found one Jersey Skiff kit <coughs> that's wood. And it was out of England, and it was kind of... I didn't really necessarily think it was a great kit from the looks of it, so I didn't order it. I would love to build a wood skiff, but... I haven't found one yet. Uh, we have two skiffs. You might have remember I did the Maze Seafood. This is an insane, um, insane halls down in Florida, I believe. I think they're. I don't remember. Uh, Jason Voorhees in there. I think we did a video on that one. But this is my Captain Kid. This is my baby. Uh, I only run this when I'm in a really good mood, and it's fun. I'll try to get some run footage. So did the decals, the old Jolly Roger type of stuff. Put a compass on there. Captain Kid. Sorry for the dirt or the dust. Um, this I 3D printed. It's a pirate off of uh, 
I think I just found it on Thingiverse. Doesn't look anything like Captain Kid, but it's okay. Themes there, and we, um, and it is actually made to pop off. I'm using a special lock tape. You can actually pop him off. So if it crashes really bad, um, it doesn't destroy it. And I just airbrush it after I print it. I print these my drivers most of them out of wood. Um, it's a a wood filament you can do on 3D printing. It's like 30% recycled wood like sawdust and stuff like that and the rest is plastic and it you can stain it you can sand it and it prints really really well and it's crap for structural don't use it for anything strong but it's really good for printing little statues and shit like that <clears throat> so i called it the ye old skiff captain kid 1654 to 1701 is when he was alive i did name it the adventure galley um which is the name of the boat in captain kid and you can see I've got minimal trim tabs on here. And they work fine. They do their job. And I actually have a hydro prop on here. It works fairly well. We have a skag with a, um, I'm sorry, a strut with a skag on it. Helps it go straight. If you look at the bottom, it is completely flat. But that's what makes it turn like that. Because you've got normal paneled sides. But when you turn, it really comes off the plane. It's just freaking crazy. You want a fun... This is why these... I love these boats because they're really big. I mean, that's a big boat. Okay, there's my hand. All right. They're really big. They go pretty damn fast because not a whole lot of surface tension down there. And they kind of drive like a cracker in a way, but they don't turn like one. They turn on their sides. It's just stupid. Um, I do have run videos of my other skiff on the channel you can look at that so what we're going to do now i'm going to pop off the cover so here's an access cover and here's an access cover i'm going to put the camera down okay so we're running gizmo motors gzr 30 uh, cc modified uh is it really modified like i said so so uh direct drive throttle like i use in all my boats and the thing I really like about the Rico Racing better than the Insane is he, instead of just putting wood rails in, he puts in a wood platform as well. Yes. Sure, it adds weight, but man, this bitch ain't going to twist. Guaranteed. Quarter inch plywood all the way around. Awesome stuff. Hold down the hatches. I use magnets on this particular boat. There's your water lines. Didn't do anything fancy or pretty on the inside because you pretty much don't see it. Uh, open cavity. I did have to cut that open. Um, because traditional skiffs have an open bay in the front. And I got my poor foam in there in case she takes on water. Same thing with this guy is magnetic. Hard to do with one hand. Those are strong. Put this over here. And you can see just the traditional radio box that I use. Right? Nothing. You guys saw this in the uh, other build video. Different color box, but same thing. Water lines. Fuel bag, which has got way too much air in it. And there you go. Dual pickup rudder. I put one of these fancy dancy little prop nuts on there. Just why not? Nothing doesn't achieve anything except add more weight and look cool. Um, my water outlets are here. Now, the thing I really like about the Rico over the Insane Skiff. Now, the Insane's that yellow dude up there. And I know this sounds stupid, but... This cavity right here, if you look, hang on, ah, can't get it open, but the cavity right there, see where the pull start is? It's really hard to get to that pull start. The pull start lands right about here, and that's where the engine needs to be. I, it's not impossible. It's not like horrible, but I do use pull starts on most of my boats, except for like hydros and uh, riggers. And once they're warmed up, I use the pull start to keep running. I don't use the electric start every time. I use the electric start usually when it's only cold or I've flooded it with water. Um, <clears throat> whereas this one, here, I'll show you. See how much room? And I've got the belt start like I do on most of my boats. But if you look at this cover, look at the size difference. Much easier access. Okay. Um, and it's got full wood. I mean, this thing's built like a tank, really built like a tank. Works really well. Um, and then you can see the tune pipe, Zip Kits tune pipe, with a standard pipe mount, not the Pro. So the standard, they both go through layer like this. And then we connect it with some heat tubing. There, I need to tighten that up. 
Oh well, good enough. So, that is really about it. The bottoms of the skiffs, as far as the jersey, I'm sorry, as far as the Insane versus the Rico, the bottoms are identical. I'm not even going to show you the bottom, but the bottom of that one looks identical to this. The length, pretty much identical. I think this might be a touch wider, but it's it's inconsequential. It's, it's negligible, if you will. Um, so yeah, and that's it. I'll try to get some run footage of this. I love this boat. I love my Insane. Now, the Insane is the one I beat on a lot more, as you can see. Uh, it's had some crashes and damage, and but good boat. But if I replace it, it's probably going to be done to one of these. Um, as far as a Rico goes. So that's it. Hopefully, my ice is gone. Hopefully we can get down the water today, get some run footage of this. I'll pop up a couple. I think I've got a couple still, still pictures of it running, but I don't have a video. It's strange. I love this boat. So anyway, that is the Rico Racing Jersey Skiff. Fiberglass hull. Beautiful boat. I mean, absolutely, every Rico hull I've ever bought has been impeccable. It really has. Not a scratch. We got that one. Both those monos are Ricos. That drag cat's a Rico. And that's it. <clears throat> but yeah, great, great, great boats um, for fiberglass. I'm not a huge fiberglass fan. But when I have to buy one, like in the case of a skiff, sometimes the monos. Um, I love the Ricos. Good stuff, guys. So, until next time, hopefully later today, keep dry side up. Bye.